The Black Knight prototype vehicle can drive like a truck and fly like a helicopter, and it may be coming to the United States Army soon. Designed by famed aerospace firm Advanced Tactics, the Black Knight Transformer was created with the Army in mind and intended to act as a drone in evacuation combat scenarios as an unmanned ambulance. The powerful vehicle was like a large jeep capable of vertical takeoff and landing and looked straight out of a science fiction movie. But more importantly, its makers believed that if deployed, it would give troops the flexibility to infiltrate enemy lines in any terrain, radically changing the way medical care was provided on the battlefield. The most innovative drone. In the 2010s, California-based Advanced Tactics proposed the Black Knight Transformer, an autonomous casualty evacuation vehicle for the U.S. Army. Autonomous helicopters coming out of the defense industry's research laboratories around the globe and moving into military testing were not new. But what set the Black Knight apart was the vehicle's ability to fly into the most challenging and rugged landing zones near the battlefield and then transform into a ground-bound ambulance. The vehicle was a so-called multi-copter vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that doubled as an all-terrain road vehicle. Also known as the Flying Jeep, the type drew inspiration from small electric multi-copters that had become popular in the last decade. However, unlike the smaller electric versions, the Black Knight vehicle was a full-scale aircraft, armed with a significant payload and range capability, ready for the battlefield. Capable of taking off and landing anywhere, the aircraft was designed to be flown autonomously or with a pilot. From helicopter to truck and back. With a maximum takeoff weight of 4,400 pounds, Advanced Tactics Flying Jeep was designed to reach speeds of up to 150 miles per hour and be capable of carrying up to eight passengers, or 1,600 pounds. To be used on land, the Black Knight included a fully independent ground drivetrain, providing it with off road driving capabilities. These features allowed the vehicle to drive across rough terrains, reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour, ensuring that it reached any destination, whether there was a suitable landing zone or not. Depending on the mission, the Black Knight could also be fitted with skids or flotation devices, and the combination of aircraft and road vehicle was equipped with eight propellers and four wheels. Additionally, the Black Knight prototype had automotive suspensions and drivetrains akin to those used in off-road trucks. This, in addition to large truck tires and shocks, provided excellent terrain handling and maneuvering during trials, softening the vehicle's landings and doubling as landing gear. As a multi-power source aircraft, the vehicle could be manufactured with either petroleum engines, a hybrid electric powertrain, or an all-electric option. Moreover, to take the most advantage of the available space for passengers and cargo, roughly the same volume as a Black Hawk helicopter, almost all propellers, engines, motor, and mechanical components were placed outside the fuselage. This feature reduced the driving width of the vehicle to 8.5 feet, allowing it to be transported inside a C-130 Hercules without any disassembly. The Flying Jeep Advanced Tactics began work on the Black Knight Transformer VSTOL vehicle in 2010, with funding from the United States Congress. The concept's development was spurred by the growing popularity and overwhelming acceptance of multi-copter aircraft, as well as the company's passion for developing game-changing military and civilian vehicle technology. Advanced Tactics also sensed the U.S. military's need for a low-cost platform for casualty evacuation and cargo resupply missions. The United States Army Aero Flight Dynamics Directorate and the NASA Ames Research Center studied the design's feasibility prior to its development phase, carefully analyzing all the core research, concept design, component development, and testing. This study became the basis for a full-scale prototype demonstrator that was designed and built for less than $2 million. On March 22, 2014, Advanced Tactics announced that the Black Knight Transformer modular and rotable vertical takeoff and landing aircraft had successfully completed its maiden flight and several successful short hover flights over Southern California. The vehicle was flown autonomously for safety, with the stability and altitude controlled solely by the autopilot. In fact, the only human commands were to increase or decrease the power. While the Black Knight could hover at thousands of feet above the ground, the altitude was limited to less than 10 feet during the initial test flights. 
Moreover, the engineers fitted the aircraft with an outrigger landing gear to prevent it from rolling over in case of any errors or mishaps. Fortunately, the results were encouraging and the model performed as expected. Advanced Tactics even captured aerial footage of the flights using an electric quadcopter drone and then published an edited version on its official YouTube channel. After its maiden flight, the company's executives offered the Black Knight and other multi-copter designs to several U.S. military branches and foreign customers, describing in detail the kind of missions they would be able to perform. Redefining Medivac According to the Advanced Tactics website, the Black Knight Transformer could radically change the reality of troop transportation, cargo resupply missions, medivac use, special operations, and more. One of its most significant advantages was its versatility, and the company believed the Black Knight could be used for even more scenarios in the future. Still, its primary use was always intended to be for medical evacuation, functioning as the perfect unmanned ambulance. If two soldiers required evacuation and one was seriously wounded, a Black Knight could be automatically launched up to 20 miles away from the front lines. Upon landing, the vehicle would slow its engines, allowing the soldiers to climb inside. Moreover, if the evacuees happened to be under heavy fire and could not fly safely, the Black Knight could use its off-road capabilities to drive back to safety, taking advantage of its features as the first ever rotable vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. The Black Knight could also work the other way around, landing in a safe landing zone away from enemy fire and then driving exactly to where a wounded soldier was. As such, there would not be any need to be carried, thus reducing the danger to the other soldiers. The model was also meant to be driven as a cargo truck for resupply missions, where the vehicle could again land in a safe zone and then move to its final destination, even if that location was otherwise inaccessible to ground vehicles. After being loaded with material, the drone could then initiate a vertical takeoff, proving that the multicopter's capabilities could support a new set of missions that could not previously be performed. Uncertain Future Despite the encouraging results, the Black Knight large-scale prototype demonstrator with VTOL flight features and ground driving capabilities was put in storage soon after the test trials, and just as recent programs within the military vehicle development industry were significantly shifting. After a few years, Advanced Tactics seems to have turned its sights onto other matters, as the company also set up the Black Knight Transformer for auction on eBay to fund another project known as the AT Transporter. A new flying car concept this new vehicle leaves wheels behind in favor of helicopter-style drone operations. And even though it is similar, the novelty vehicle was designed specifically for special operations missions. For some, the privately developed Advanced Tactics Black Knight Transformer represented a vision that is now out of favor, as defense developers are currently pursuing the idea of flying cars without wheels. Only time will tell if the all-terrain vehicle may find a use for its air and land technology in other applications. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed our video, and don't hesitate to share it with someone else who might like it. And for the latest in defense development and historical content, make sure to check out all our other Dark Documentaries channels. Stay tuned.